This is Star Talk. We're talking about going to Mars. And about, like, humans going to Mars. Humans going I'm to so, Mars. like, curious about um, the movie that you've mentioned a few times already, John the Martian. And I understand that, like, Andy, we're... Did he get advice from NASA at some point? Like, it seems to be quite realistic, no? I think he talked to the, the scientists and engineers at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory there in Pasadena, not far yeah. from where he lives. So I, I think he got a lot of first-class advice uh, on sending robots to Mars and what it was like to send people to Mars. What, what did you, you know, I get asked that question about that movie yeah. almost all the time. You know, I, I, whenever I speak, I want to know about gravity or the Martian, that I like it. And from my perspective, John, I just, when I look, see a space movie, I just try to look and see if the astronaut was cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, I really don't. You know, it, to me, you know, uh, George Clooney was cool. Yeah, he. Was. I don't really, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. there's a lot of science things wrong with it, but as long as George Clooney looked cool, that was fine. Matt Damon was cool. He got stuck with an antenna in the chest yeah. and sewed himself up. Now I wouldn't. I would look at that and I would go ah, and I would scream. <laughs> but people think because I'm an astronaut, I would very coolly pull it out of my chest and sew myself up. Matthew McConaughey. You know, that guy needed, he needed a drink. He yeah. was a little bit too intense. I was, you know, a little disappointed with that, <laughs> with that movie, Interstellar. Because, but I just look at the way the, 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 the astronaut's portrayed. If he's cool or he or she's cool, I'm good with it. But, John, what did you think about the movie The Martian? I'm sure you get questions all the time about that. What was your opinion? Well, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was probably the best space movie since 2001. And uh, we can argue about whether mm. it was better than 2001. My wife says she prefers not to go to space movies with me because uh, all I do is huff and puff and roll my eyes audibly during the usually during the entire movie but she said I would behave I behave myself well this time in fact the only snide comment that either of us made was was one she made during one of the the climactic EVA scenes she noticed the astronaut was not tethered to the spacecraft, yes. and oh. she said that would never happen. How could that possibly? How could they make a movie with that in it? So, uh, but otherwise, I thought it was a lot of fun. I, you know, Andy has said that the the opening event, you know, the 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 wind that that blows everything around and causes the problem, couldn't happen on Mars. The atmosphere is too thin, and the dust is not sandy, grainy, granular like that. It's it's more the the the, the texture of smoke particles. So, and he said, uh, I, asked him, I asked him that question during a Q&A one time, and he said, yes, I know, but I needed to start the movie somehow, and that's how I chose to do it, and did it you turned just, out okay. Did you just show up at a Q&A like a regular citizen? Like, he didn't know that you had all this, oh, like, no, no. surprise. No no, 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 he actually came to Johnson Space Center and did series of, a series of book talks and Q&As for cool. all of us nerds, so he was very well prepared for the audience, and we all loved him. Yeah, John, John was a plant. Yeah, yeah. Going there and say, "Hey, <laughs> what was wrong?" But that was right. And, and the EVA scene, the spacewalking scene in the end. It's, as soon as you mentioned that, my uh, my son and I saw it together, and he said the same thing. He goes, "Dad, what kind of spacewalk are they doing?" He, even my son, you know, my son was picked up on it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Daniel, it was very unprofessional the way they were untethered at the end. <laughs> but you were like, "But wasn't it cool when he pulled the antenna out of it?" Right. I said, "Yeah, Daniel, don't worry about that." Matt Damon was a cool astronaut. <laughs> this one's approved. It's got I mean, the it's good. It must be great, like PR, right? Like that's like my, you know, when you see great movie about space like it makes you think highly of nasa for some I, reason i think so what do you think Joe? i think that was that was good for us wasn't it i agree i, I we got a lot we certainly used it for a lot of publicity we we mm. tried to link a lot of the one-year mission uh, space station work to it and and uh, things like that so yeah i thought it was great Johnny, but there's also the serious part to what the movie portrayed, which was how do you keep a crew alive? Now, he was in a survival situation, mm -hmm. but still, there there must be a lot of parallels that with the work you're doing to what you saw in that movie, right? It's food and water and life support and so on, yeah? Exactly. Well, I mean, the, the food was, was the, one of the, actually, the potato was like another supporting actor in the, in the whole movie. And uh, your like buddy- That's like in the whole history of Ireland. Right. <laughs> But but Mike, your pal Don potatoes Pettit. Potatoes are huge for us. <laughs> Have you heard what Don Pettit said about potatoes in space, though, Mike? No, Don Don Pettit is one of my best friends, oh. yeah. uh, and a very entertaining guy and a genius. Very what? rare for an astronaut, let me add. You know, but what, what, did you Don, what, what, what did he say this time? If Don Pettit said he's never seen a potato on the space station or on the shuttle that was not sliced and had its eyes cut out. So there's no yeah. way a potato on this, uh, in space would have been able to grow mm -hmm. and, and produce more potatoes. But Don Don did actually grow stuff in space, and he are growing stuff on the space. But Don right. Don grew his own. He grew a sunflower, and he grew a, a squash. 
Yeah, that it was kind of on his own. Wow. But uh, but he did his own little experiment. But they have grown also lettuce on yeah. the space station on purpose, as well. Yeah, on purpose, we have yeah. special seeds we fly up to do that that kind of research to eventually lead to growing. No, fresh I knew it was on inside. purpose. I didn't think it was like an accidental. <laughs> no, what I'm saying, some, some guys grew. <laughs> some astronauts might do things because they're interested on in their own experiments. Oh. But this was the the lettuce was a real growing right. the lettuce was a real uh, project. Yeah. That they had and it was successful. So you can't to grow your own food in space. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then they eat the results. And then you eat the results. And yeah. they're, they're good, hopefully. This is Star Talk. 